Welcome to Only BB Guns video review channel. Today we're going to be looking at the HFC HG175. Now this is modelled on a SIG. I believe it was it's modelled on the 226 or the 229. Correct me if I'm wrong, but heads everywhere right now. Now basic information on the box: gas-powered pistol, hop-up, yes. Blowback, yes. Dimensions, magazine capacity 15. It's just o it's a little bit over one kilo in weight. It is a full metal gun. Uh, shoots around 300 to 310 FPS, so it's well within your ranging. Uh, let's get it out of the box and have a look. Now, in the box, it will come standard with your HFC BBs. Do you know what we do with them? We go like that. We don't want them. Put the gun over there a sec. You do get standard instruction manual, pretty good quality instructions, tells you the do's and don'ts, how to maintenance, take it apart, clean it, and everything else. Yeah, it's a book. We'll get onto the gun now. So, as I said, this is a full metal gun, so the top rail, metal, the body of the gun, metal. The plastic parts will be the grip, the base of the magazine lip, no, that's even metal and all, so I was even wrong there. Just check there's no gas in there, which there shouldn't be. So, it, this is an absolute gem of a piece. I love it. I've got one and it actually replaced my Glock. It's got a lovely kick on it. It's what we've come to know as the wrist breaker here because it does hurt if you're constantly firing it. So, first off, top slide, metal. Work it, functioning slide stay, back switch. And everyone asks, what's, that, what's this switch here? It's a decocking lever. And the way that would work is, the gun's cocked, ready to go. So if you want to take it off, push that down, pull the trigger, release that. The gun's no longer cocked. Simple as that. So it's very simple. It's cocked. Decocking lever, pull the trigger all the way, release the decocking lever, then the trigger. You're safe to go. But it is a double action trigger, so the safety on this is quite finicky. It's the only let down I can see on it. The safety would be this button here will pop out very minute with a button on the back here. And all you do, you just push it with your finger. Very, very finicky. The safety is now on. Pop that back in and it's back live. Uh, it does have an adjustable hopper, which is inside. You just take the top slide off and there's a little wheel you adjust with your fingernail, Allen key or whatever. Uh, <laughs> there is a rail on the bottom here if you wish to be bold enough to mount something to it, but please bear in mind, if you mount a rail to the, mount something to the bottom rail, it's not gonna go in a holster properly. So please bear that in mind. Other than that, magazine release, just on the side there, usual place. Magazine, full metal, apart from the magazine lip. Do not pull that down and just let it go because this magazine lip, they will shatter if you just keep hitting it with the spring guide inside. Don't do it because that means you're gonna have to send the gun back or the magazine and poor old me, I've got to repair it. So save you hassle, save me hassle, just don't do it, simple as. Fill bottom on the bottom there. Empty valve at the top, simple as that, Stand, pretty standard. Let's put some gas in it. Hold the mag directly upside down. Three short bursts into the mag, that's ready to go. I'm not gonna put BBs in there because it's just a hassle cleaning them up in this place. Ready to go. You can obviously cock it, put a BB in the chamber. 
I'm going to be dry firing by holding the slide stay down, but just a quick one just to show you it does function. Nice good snap on that. So, oh, this tag does come on it saying training weapon, warning, not a toy, do not misuse, made in Taiwan. Well, obviously it is a toy because it's for us big boys to play with it. Right, so pretty simple, pull the trigger. Now, for those of you who follow the videos, uh, you'll know that I broke my wrist a couple of months back. This thing actually hurts my wrist to shoot because it's got that much recoil on it. I've got to hold it with both hands because it just kills me. Uh, I was going to do it one-handed, but I'm not going to be that stupid because I don't want to wear a splint anymore. But, nice and crisp. Sh shooting on it. Now, as I said, with a decocking lever, you pull that down, pull the trigger, release that, and it lets the gas out as well. It's a good way of emptying it a little. So that's that. So this is the HG175 modelled on a SIG. It is a phenomenal piece. As I said, it's known to me and the others here as the wrist breaker, but it's modelled on a SIG. It's a lovely gun. All of our gas blowbacks we do have spare mags for. If you've got any questions, leave it down below. If you've got any snide comments, Please keep them to yourself because I don't want to know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.